Hey, they're all craft beer lovers. Time for another beer review. So, we are packing our bags, guys. Going to Gothenburg, to, in Sweden, of course. To Gothenburg, to back to Två Feta Grisa, or in English, Two Fat Pigs. Taking a look at their Optimus Primus, Imperial Honey Stout. This one, guys, clocks in at 9%. It's a 330ml can. Ingredients are water from Gothenburg, barley malts, hops, yeast, and honey, they say. And there, there's that cool looking artwork. Uh, I have reviewed, I think, a porter at least from these guys before. Uh, there you go. Uh, full of flavor and strength. With pitch black and heavy as motor oil. Uh, a, a real malt base with some dark roasted and smoky notes. Complemented with sweet honey. Uh, and it is, uh, this beer is uh, matured with alongside bourbon oak to provide a little bit of depth. To the flavor. That sounds like a mouthful. Let's get it on. Let's get on with it. See what we get then. Right. Okay. All right. So right. A little bit of smoke there. So a honey stout. Now I really do like honey stouts, guys. I do like that lovely honey sweetness to complement that big. Bold, heavy, stout character. There we go. But on the other hand, some breweries, unfortunately, very much skimp on the honey. So they don't provide uh, a lot of honey in there. Probably due to, you know, to costs. It's all about money, right? Uh, and therefore the beer doesn't really get uh, to become a honey stout or a honey porter or whatever. I want to feel that honey. I want to taste that honey in there, guys. That's what I want to taste. Okay, so let's hope Tro Feta Grisar have put a lot of honey in this one. Uh, we got ourselves a lovely three fingers worth of head. Big, massive head there. Looks a little bit creamy at that. There we go. Pitch black beer, of course. Certainly looks pitch black motor oil, as they said on the can. Lovely presentation. A lot of carbonation as well. Uh, onto the nose, then, see what we got. Oh. There's certainly a lot of dark roasted malts, and that's certainly a smoky sensation on the nose as well. Yeah, do I detect a little bit of a sweetness in there? I mean, it smells nice, really does. Yeah, I do. I think I do detect a little bit of sweetness. So, with that said, guys, let's not waste any more time. Let's see what we have. Cheers, all. It's certainly a good stout. Right off the bat, it got, it's got all those lovely stout characteristics that you want. It's very, very, very heavy on the palate. Big dark malts notes there. Bitterness in the aftertaste. Certainly a bit smoky again. For me, unfortunately, this beer kind of falls into that same trap as many other beers do. As I, uh, you know, I just spoke about it before I took my first sips here. Uh, I do detect a faint uh, sweetness initially, then it just fades away. And you're, what you have is a good stout. In I mean, in all other regards, it's a good, well-made stout. Pretty good body in there for sure. Definitely a little bit heavy, a lot of dark roasted malts, a little bit of smoky vibes. 
uh, but I don't really get super much of that honey, guys. And unfortunately, that's what I that's what I like and that's what I want. And why do I want it? Because they say it. Look there, Imperial Honey Stout. So I mean, they market them uh, their their product as an as a honey stout. And I would very much, if I want a honey stout, I'll buy a honey stout, right? And I picked this one up. I per paid for it. And for me, well, I want a honey stout. But unfortunately, it's not super much in the way of honey here. Final sip. Yeah. For me, it's a decent stout. Good, decent stout, but that's all it is. Uh, no honey almost in there. So it doesn't really live up to its name as a honey stout. For me, I'm going to give it a 3.25 out of 5. Thanks for watching.